Hi everyone, welcome to the video. I'm going to talk to you about my vintage camera collection, which just sort of happened by accident. And you can use this video as English listening practice. And uh, a recommendation is to listen multiple times if it's a little bit difficult or challenging for you. You don't have to understand every single word for it to still be useful for you. Okay, so all of this started because I just liked the look of um, second-hand cameras. And this is the very first one that I bought. And I, mu I must say, before you know, getting into the video, I haven't researched any of these cameras. I don't know their names. I don't know how to use them or anything like that. For me, it's just because I think they're cool objects and I try to pick them up cheap when I see them in um, charity shops or vintage kind of shops, that sort of thing. So when I bought this one, I think it was two years ago, I was so excited about it. And I probably paid more for this one than any of the other ones after. If I came across one like this today, I definitely wouldn't have paid as much as I did for it. I think I paid about £30. Um, I still like the look of this one, but I think it would look better just sort of displayed by itself. It doesn't really fit with the rest of the group. And um, another thing that I think is cool about this type of camera is you see it a lot in, you know, older films. You see people using this. And I was quite surprised, um, please correct me if I'm wrong, to see people using cameras like this in the 70s. Now, bearing in mind how old it looks, I always... You know, before I noticed it in films, I thought it was from the 1940s or 1930s or something. So um, that was the first one. And then not really sure about the order of the rest of them, except I can say that this one only cost me three pounds. It's like a, I think it was a, was it a disposable? No idea, but... I, I liked it because um, it looks quite 80s and um, yeah, I buy them because I like the retro sort of look. Out of all of them, I would say this one is my favourite one. Um, just really, I just find that really pleasing how it looks and all of the buttons, the Coronet F20. I've never tried to open it or use it. I don't know if it's working or anything like that. I think it's pretty cool. I think that was about 18 pounds. Then this one is probably my second favorite nowadays, just because I like this very boxy sort of camera. And this is another Kodak one, and that's quite a famous brand. Uh, I mean, I see a lot of these sort of cameras around and I don't buy all of them but when I just appreciate like the design I'm more likely to buy it this one seems very ugly now <laughs> Kodak one I don't really know why I bought it it was probably just hadn't seen one in a while or it was cheap or something it's quite ugly but maybe ugly in a good way and it's really 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 light um light but sturdy. So perhaps in its day it was a um, fairly good camera. I've got no idea. This one I bought yesterday. Uh, the man in the charity shop told me it was valued at £300. I don't think so. <laughs> I really don't think so. I bought it for £10. £10. Um, and this one is, like I said, I haven't researched any of them. So I don't know too much about it. Halton Butcher. But that one's quite, you know, boxy and uh, very heavy compared to a lot of the other ones. Um, I'll probably just talk briefly about um, this as a, as a collection and um, how it sort of started by accident because 
um it, i haven't there hasn't been a lot of things that i've collected over the years although i suppose i've always had a tendency to i've i've been drawn to it in a way but it's just because i moved around a lot and i couldn't keep stuff for a long time i never really collected it and i i didn't like to have a lot of stuff around but now that i'm settled i i just found myself drawn to like buying <laughs> buying things and collecting them together so what i like about it is you know that excitement of finding finding something and especially finding it for a good price i mean when i bought this one I, I wouldn't say that was a good price for that but because i hadn't been used to noticing them let's say i thought it was a good deal then and because i really loved how it looked i just i just i just bought it without really considering the price um so i suppose i'll wrap it up there uh, i'm no expert on these on these cameras um but i hope you uh, enjoyed watching this video and you like these uh, cool vintage cameras as much as I do. A quick reminder before I say goodbye that all of my courses are still available on my website so if you're looking to work a bit on your accent or your speaking skills definitely go and check out my list of courses. It really does help me out a lot and um, makes, this, makes this channel um, worth keeping going if you support me by buying one of my courses. Okay, that's all for now. Bye.